Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this really pretty 1940s style half up half down do with mock victory rolls and a poodle. It's great for beginners, it's really super super easy to do and I know you're just going to love it. For the best vintage and pin up hairstyles then please subscribe to my channel for regular updates and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload every Tuesday. I've made over 100 pin up videos and I'd love you to check them out. I actually filmed this video yesterday, well I didn't, I'm filming it today, I tried to film it yesterday on my freshly curled hair but when I played back the footage I don't know what was happening with my camera, I don't know why I didn't check it prior to, to filming but the, the settings were all kinds of crazy so I had to refilm it today. I highly recommend that you do this on freshly curled hair because you'll get the tightest cutest ringlets at the front of your hair i'm doing it obviously on re-rolled hair i didn't bother washing and setting last night i just re-rolled it because the whole of yesterday i wore my hair in a poodle so the curls should have stayed i really fingers crossed hope they have um i didn't curl with any particular setting pattern but i did section off the front of my hair from the crown to each corner of my forehead in like a u shape and i've rolled all of those curls forward the rest of my hair i rolled under every curl under uh, no particular setting pattern just under so i'm going to take those out now fingers crossed we still have a nice curl always start from the bottom otherwise they can get uh, curled messed up Oh, we still have some spring there, that's really good. So you don't need to watch me doing this, uh, I'll get back to you when I've taken them all out. This seems to have worked out okay, by all means if you want to do a heat set you can, but you must clip your curls and make sure that they have completely cooled before you try to take them out and brush them out, otherwise it will just be super frustrating, you're going to brush out all of your hard work. This seems to have gone really well, I can tell that the front section of my hair Probably the most important part isn't quite as tightly curled as I want it to be so I'm going to make sure I don't brush that out. It's at this point you're going to want to decide what kind of curl you're looking for, a more structured and smooth curl or a fluffy, poofy, cloudy kind of curl. Um, if you want that type you can brush it out, if you don't want that type, if you want a more smooth and structured ringlety curl then don't brush it out, you can maybe break up your um, curls with your fingers. Um, make sure your hands have some kind of smoothing product, be it hairspray or pomade in it, if that's the look you're going for. I'm going to brush the back out first, but I'm going to make sure that I've sectioned off the front section of my hair too, and the side sections, because they're going to form our mock victory rolls. So just from the crown of my head down to each ear, I'm just going to rake my fingers through my curls at the back here before I go in with my brush. I'm sure you've done this plenty of times before, you understand that you, before you get the lovely smooth curls you get a hell of a lot of frizz. Don't worry about it, it's absolutely fine. I'm using a Denman brush to brush out my curls as I always do. You don't have to use a Denman but when you select your brush make sure it hasn't got bobbles on the end of it because they can often catch in the curls and just make the brushing out process that little bit more difficult. I'm going to start at the bottom of my curls and just brush through, brushing over my hand the entire time and brushing the curls under. This is where, again, the style is quite unique. You can choose how you want your curls to sit. And it's at this point that you will see how strong your set is and how much brushing out your curls are going to take. If they've set completely, you will be brushing for a good long while. That will obviously be less if you've done a, a heat set. So I'm kind of looking for a wave as opposed to a curl here. and I'm putting quite a lot of tension on my hair as I brush, so I'm pulling down and brushing down and under at the same time and I'm hoping that's going to give me less frizz and more of a wave as opposed to a, cl a cloudy, curly floof. When you're doing these styles, when you're styling your hair, brushing out your curls, it's very easy to focus on the sides, each side, and then you'll find when you look at the back of your hair, you've got two side sections only and there's a big gap in the middle, which we don't want. You want to try for a uniform section of hair from the back to the sides, preferably in a U shape, but that will depend on how your hair's been cut. Okay, so the goal here at the back is to keep everything from floofing up and going crazy while still brushing through and making it wavy. I don't want any random springy up little curls, I want them all to be together. I can see actually up there on the left, look, can you see that little rebel of a curl there sticking up? So annoying. Um, yeah. It's not too bad though. As you're brushing out your hair you might see a wave that you want to harness. Just section clip 
it off as you go and spray to set the wave. I'm going to stop here. Um, I haven't got a mirror to look in at the back of my head at the moment. Normally I would be doing it with the mirror at the back. I do urge you not to strive for ultimate perfection. I know it's very easy to get lured into the idea that we need this perfect wave at the back of your head and sometimes it ha happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. And I think you've got to understand that's okay. Actually, if you look at authentic photos of girls in the 1940s, they often didn't have this perfectly smooth hairstyle. It was a little bit fuzzy because they were normal girls and it happened to them too. There's no magic way of creating this hairstyle exactly the same every time that you do it. You could be aiming for perfection and actually have achieved it a while ago without realising. So just be easy on yourself. Right, first things first, the front curls, the main bit of the poodle. Now my face, as you might notice, is pretty long. I've got a lot of length in my face. Um, people often ask me why the long face. It's very annoying, I just have a long face. Um, yeah, anyway, so Although I don't mind wearing hair on top of my head piled high, I love a bit of a pompadour, I'm not shy of that. I know that ideally my hair will be to the side of my face just to minimise the length a little bit. So I'm creating an asymmetrical poodle here over to my, what is that? I can't remember now. That looks like my right hand side. And um, just to, yeah, minimise the length of my hair so it's off to one side a little bit. If I, if you have a round face, then building your hair directly on top of your head will lengthen your face. I read a brilliant 1940s book about it actually. I can't remember the name of it. I will put it in the description box. So I'm building and structuring my curls. I'm not brushing through them. Like I said, this curl set is a couple of days old or a day old, so it's not that strong. I'm just breaking the curls up with my finger and spraying and pinning them as I go and you could do the same thing. I've got a cute little curl at the front there that I really want to keep hold of so I'll spray that and bobby pin it, just poking the bobby pins in vertically as opposed to horizontally so that they don't show. So just piling all those curls up onto each other. Now I want to keep my brush out of the back safe from any tangles so I'm going to section clip that back now. It's these side sections that are going to form our mock victory rolls. We're going to keep the ends of our hair free at all times to form the curl, the poodle fluff at the front of our hairstyle. You might find that you want to back comb a little bit behind um, this section of hair, depending on how thick your hair is. I'm not going to today, but you do want to make sure that you have a smooth front to this section of your hair. I'm using my smoothing brush here, but you can use anything that you have with you. I'm not brushing the curls at the top. So take your index finger and your middle finger of your left hand for the left hand side and place it behind the section of hair, maybe an inch above your head. You then wrap the section around your fingers and turn them back towards your head and pin in place, keeping hold of those curls the entire time so they can come forward and form part of the poodle. I'll show you from behind. Can now take out my side clips. I don't know if you saw that, my section clip just literally flew across the room. Ah, and the other one. Okay, that looks a bit rubbish now, so I'm going to just give it a little bit more of a brush. That will do. 
I think a little magnolia and dahlia flower for springtime. Done. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button, subscribe and share with your friends. If you would like a guide, step-by-step -step guide as to how to achieve this hairstyle and every hairstyle tutorial that I film, then please check the link in the description down below. If you love 1940s hairstyles, then don't forget to go and check out these videos next for more. Thanks again. Bye.